This is the worst everybody has seen. This is no more homes. So this is rebuilding homes. I mean, the, the house across from here, he has no more top. And, you know, you can imagine what it looks like on the inside. Maybe he'll be able to save it, but, you know, who knows? But like my sister's home, it took off most of her top and the walls are just all over the place. She have the wall leaning on stuff, you know, it's, it's just no repairing. And a lot of homes are that way. My sister-in-law's home, there's no rebuilding because it's almost all gone. So, I mean, it's just uh, story after story, you know. I mean, if you pass and go ride down this lower Pornish end, you know, you're gonna see the devastation. And for a long time, you know, I would just break down, you know, because I never saw it like this before. And it looks like it's gonna be a, a long, long time before we get back to normal. So Pornichet, like the Lafourche side, is all American Indians. On the Terrebonne side, there's a few non-Native people. But everybody knows everybody. And we all, we all get along and we all help each other. We're a, we're a tight community and you know, we try to take care of each other's needs. We all, mostly are all fishermen. Most, this is a, uh, whenever I like, I uh, go do workshops somewhere, I always introduce myself and say, well, I'm from American Indian uh, fishing community. Cause it, that's what it is. We're asked a lot, why do you want to stay here? Well, our work is right across the street. Our office, you know, we get into our office. That's what Donald's nephew calls his boat, his office. When he takes off to go uh, shrimping, he said, well, I'm back in the office, going back to work. <laughs> Our community needs help. You know, I have to try to keep our, uh, our community in the news some kind of way, because otherwise, you know, they're just gonna drop it.